Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? It's your girl here, Nia Leah. Welcome to the channel. So, I know y'all probably don't hear this a million times. Um, I actually vlogged about this on my vlogging channel. Um, I'm gonna actually put like a link down below so y'all can go see the vlog for yourself. But I talked about Ryan's toy review. And um, basically, <clears throat> I don't even know how to begin this conversation. Um, this might be a little boring, but if you are a YouTube content creator like me, you really do need to listen up because this is going to really change your channel a whole, whole lot. Um, over the years, YouTube have been, have been becoming very, very strict. Um, they have changed up a lot of things on YouTube. Um, pretty much, it kind of like hurt the channel a little bit, but it's supposed to, you know, make it better. I remember when they were talking about that, you know, they didn't want us cursing too much or they didn't want us doing certain things that will demonetize us. And then, you know, they came out with the whole demonetization or they change it or whatever. Um, they said that they want to make it more family friendly. And I really do hope you to listen to this because I'm, get, I'm a little confused because I carry myself you know rated G or some people might say I'm rated PG because of YouTube but you know recently I'm I'm confused you know I know why they're doing this it's because of Ryan's toy review I mean not because the whole thing if you don't know there was a big article on Ryan's toy review saying that you know they are misleading young kids and that um kids don't know the difference between ads and monetization which is true they don't understand that they don't understand what promotion is or anything or a sponsor is they don't understand that stuff um i've actually talked about this several times because this conversation has came up on twitch it has also have came up on i don't think it came on mixer but it came this conversation came up on twitch but um and it also was brought out on somebody on several other people's streams so basically with my recent videos um i noticed that it says down here underneath the thumbnail it says audience is this video made for kids regardless of your, your location you're legally required to comply with the children online privacy protection act which is copa copa whatever you want to call them they are the ones that are going after youtube they literally are saying that YouTube is misleading a lot of kids. So, I don't feel, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I want me to go away from the topic a little bit. I don't feel like they're going after YouTube. I'm just saying that. I, they, they are going after YouTube, but in a way they're not. And we're going to get into that. And it says, and or other laws. You're required to tell us whether your videos are made for kids. What's content made for kids? Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. Um, some of my videos, I I like I play Roblox. Um, I've played Fortnite. Um, I play some games that were kitty. Um, Brahala falls on kitty games. Now, I will tell you this. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I am going to pick, no, it's not made for kids. Um, I did not make my channel... Um, just for kids i made my channel for everyone um kids are welcome to come but i made it for everyone you know i made it for adults you know for how you know older people and everything and you guys really need to see your analytics i wanted to say this i actually did a sneak peek at my um at my audience some the majority of my videos i'm getting older people i'm not really getting a whole lot of kids um the majority of my gameplay um i'm looking at it it's interesting it's the the the, the most youngest person i've seen that watched my video was 17 years old and um this is before uh, this whole you know is your stuff for kids i wasn't even clicking on um so it really won't hurt my channel because the people who are watching my channel they're like over 17 years of age um the kids weren't really even watching my channel whereas i have a lot of you know uh kids that are sub to me so this is kind of odd that it's adults 
that are looking at my video and also some people are not even sub to me and it's older people that's watching a video and I even use um, I even looked at Spyro I did a gameplay with my nephew and I thought sure that I was making that actually for my kids viewers um, I'm surprised the number was higher I think it was um, I'll let you see the number I think it was 22 years of age to 33 or 37 shocking to me because that video I made for kids and I didn't put it in there for kids but if I put it in for kids the kids are not gonna watch it so very interesting to me I, I thought this was very interesting I think people also who are YouTube content creators I think you need to see what type of audience you're drawing into your channel because I'm not as I'm looking at it I'm not really drawing in a whole lot of kids I'm drawing in more adults versus kids so that was interesting I wanted to bring that out if you click on this it says yes it's made for kids features like personalized personalized ads and notifications will be available on videos made for kids videos that are set as made for kids are more likely to be recommended alongside other kids videos so you, you no no notifications won't be available so I'm just gonna keep it like this and it also talks about I like how it brings that age restrictions right down here right below it automatically um yeah so this is like my new video and recently this is what I've been seeing so um yeah <laughs> if y'all don't know YouTube had got sued um, yeah a while back I think it was back in September they got sued because of kids watching YouTube. Yeah, sounds stupid, but they did. Um, I'm going to say this. They're going after YouTube, but who are they going after? People like us. My channel, barely even growing, barely even doing good. And here it is now. A whole audience is gone. This might be good. I mean, this might not hurt the big, big YouTubers. But this gonna hurt the smaller YouTubers, so I'm I'm just a little confused. What is gonna happen to these younger YouTubers? That's my question. Even if they're big or not, if you have a small channel or not, my question is, what is gonna happen to the younger YouTube content creators? Because you guys want us to, um, y'all want us, you know, <laughs> to come on here. And y'all want new people on here. So I don't get, I'm just confused. Can y'all help me out that in the comment area? Also, um, I don't know if y'all know this, but a lot of people are beginning to be careful on the re videos that they react. Um, apparently, I've had someone on Twitch told me, say, hey, you know, um, do a TikTok video, like a reaction video on YouTube. But I told them, mmm. I've been hearing some negative things where your video is automatically getting copyrighted or with TikTok or um, they are basically taking your video away and they're blocking your video. So I'm not, I'm going to be start doing, I used to do a lot of reaction videos but I stopped because sometimes they are copyrighted and um, what's going on is all these big businesses are buying up all of these videos they can make money off of it like us because we we would have to pay them so no i'm not doing that so all right so real talk real talk real talk we, we're gonna have to um <clears throat> yes <laughs> i'm gonna have another serious conversation with my youtube peeps i gotta talk to you guys because some things i have to get off my chest sorry i have to but that's later on um that's not i think it's gonna it's not gonna be an update but it's basically how i feel about this channel and um also later on i might talk about what is exactly has happened to the gaming channel on youtube i think this is very important um me and my friend me and my bestie we've been talking about this me and others have been talking about this other gamers and we just don't feel the same anymore as gaming like everybody i watch pretty much on the youtube channel their gaming channel is pretty much dying and so they pretty much moving or going to twitch or mixer that's a lot of people that i'm seeing that's doing that but um that is gonna be another 
another rant and rave about YouTube. But let's go ahead and wrap this up, shall we? Changed it. It, it really did shock me that they did that because it's, it's so hard now to be a YouTube content creator. It's extremely hard now. And it's like, I enjoy what I'm doing. I, I, I really do. I, I enjoy editing. I enjoy making videos. This is what I was going to college for. I took a break after my mom passed away. You know, God bless, you know, God bless the dead. But yeah, she, she really did love my videos. So this is why I keep going. It, my motivation is my mom. That's why I keep going. But um, let me know what y'all think down below in the comments area about the whole YouTube thing, about how it's changing and how it's getting harder and harder for us YouTube content creators. Let me know what you think below, all right? I wanna hear your thoughts, all right? Peace. You get me so Peace out.